In this session, let's learn about keep buffer pool. Before that, let's go a step back. We learned that database buffer cache is used to hold copies of data blocks. Right? Yes. For the first time, when a user executes a SQL statement, Oracle database reads the data blocks and stores it in the database buffer cache. Next time, if the same user or a different user executes a SQL statement, the Oracle database will look for the data blocks in the database buffer cache. If it is there, it returns to the user. If it is not there, Oracle database will go to the data files and read them into the database buffer cache. Right? Suppose while reading from the data files to the database buffer cache, if there is no space, what will Oracle database do? It will remove some of the data blocks from the database buffer cache to free up the space and then bring the new data blocks and store it in the database buffer cache. Right? What if the removed data blocks are required by some other user? Your guess is right. Again, the Oracle database will read those data blocks and fetch it into the database buffer cache. The only problem with this is lot of I.O. I.O. means input output. Lot of input output is happening between database buffer cache and data files. This can degrade the performance of the Oracle database. And also sometimes some of the data blocks are so important for your application, you want them all the time to be stored in the database buffer cache. How can you do that? The solution is keep buffer pool. Whatever the data blocks which you think are frequently used and important, you can pin them in the keep buffer pool. The word keep, keep means keep those data blocks in the keep buffer pool. It's a good idea, right? Yes, all the important data blocks which are frequently used can be pinned down into this keep buffer pool so that all the users who require these data blocks can read it from the keep buffer pool. Okay, this avoids unnecessary discretes and increases the performance. As a DBA, we shouldn't go crazy and pin the big objects into the keep buffer pool. Okay, only store important and small objects in the keep buffer pool. Okay, and you can configure the size of the keep buffer pool using the db underscore keep underscore cache underscore size initialization parameter. Okay.